I have my saline sonogram uh, scheduled for next Monday. Today is Tuesday, May 31st. Once we do that, we'll be able to talk with the doctor about what that looks like and I don't know. I mean, I guess like part of me hopes that they find something so that they, they can like correct it because um, there could be like a uterine septum that would cause continuously miscarry. And if there is, then uh, there's a chance that I would have to have surgery to correct anything. Um, so, I mean, obviously I don't want to have surgery, but I'm also like, you know, if they do find something, then at least they can uh, be able to like have something to fix. So, anyway, that's that and I'll let you know how it goes. By the way, when I keep doing this, I'm definitely going to need Botox on my forehead because that does not look good. <laughs> All right. Give me some words of wisdom today. Don't fart in the doctor's face. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have any. Okay, we're go I'm going to get my saline sonogram done. And we'll see what happens. Ryan's going to try to tape some of it. If we can. Only from the waist up. I don't know if Dr. Hunter's going No this. bad angles. Dr. Hunter is on to our videotaping games now. He now busts at us twice. He's <laughs> That's okay. He's, He's be, allowing it. He's gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, what I'm you doing with that camera over? just got out of the doctor and much to us much to our surprise it's my uterus honey my uterus has nothing wrong with it so again we are a medical mystery yeah i don't know what to say i felt like he was taking like a really long time whenever he was looking and i was like oh he found something well, in my head, I'm like, I just, I'm tired of being a medical mystery here. Like, I want to be a, I, like, I'm just like, what? You want to find something wrong so they can fix it. Like, yeah, like, let's find a solution here, not just, oh, sorry, you're not having babies, so. So, we are scheduled to come back in four weeks. Four weeks. And what are we doing? We are going to sign our <laughs> Sign our, the rest of our money away <laughs> so we won the radio contest which pays for a chunk yeah let's say we don't need to say the number out loud <laughs> let's keep the number to ourselves what but we still have to come up with a chunk on our own at, at what point does it just become skin numbers on a calculator and paper and just it just becomes a bill at that point, you know? Like, it's like, yeah. I mean, we made car payments for five years. I guess we'll make baby payments for five years. I don't know. Yeah. Number, tell me what I owe each month, and I'll figure out how to make it. Like, I mean, that's how I've always... Yeah. Oh, God, my legs hurt. Um, yeah, so we're going to try to shoot for August. September pregnancy. Yeah. That's what I said. Baby next May. 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 God, you're gonna make my life so expensive in May and June. I'm gonna have a, <laughs> I'm gonna have a baby to pay for, a birthday, a anniversary, <laughs> and then your birthday. Uh, and it's my brother's wedding is in May. And your brother's how are you gonna be pregnant and your <laughs> and your brother's birthday? And that was wedding. Wedding, same thing. Actually, it's the same. <sighs> man, I don't know. Okay, so they did the procedure. It was extremely uncomfortable. Ryan's hand got squeezed very tightly, and I just gave him a, t a taste of what it's going to be like at childbirth. 
I like how Dr. Hunter was like, you're five two. You're not having two children at one time. <laughs> yeah. You will literally be as big sideways as you are tall. <laughs> so it's not physically possible. Now he's like, you're short. So twins are not a good idea for you. I am currently with the heating pad on. I'm in a little bit of pain, just like cramping mostly. Um, and I'm off work today. I don't work on Mondays. Um, so my niece is coming over today and I'm going to watch her. Um, but I'm just resting right now. We think that we're probably going to try to start our IVF in August. So we just have to figure out how we're going to pay for it. <laughs> um, so like we said, we won the radio contest, which pays for everything on the doctor's portion of it. We saw to pay for our meds, which is around, it can be between like three to 6,000. And then there's a, um, some other things, uh, some different testing, um, genetic screening thing. And then also the anesthesia and stuff like that. Um, which is a, another like close to 5,000 so I mean we're looking at probably anywhere between total between like 7 and 10 to 12,000 on our end so I mean obviously that's not like you know as much as we would have paid but it is still you know a good chunk of money so that's that and we will just give another update soon